Welcome to Sky Podcast, a Spotify exclusive. Good morning, one and all. Good morning, good hello, morning, Hello, 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 and welcome to the Sky Podcast. Yes, or good night, or good afternoon, no matter what time you're watching this, hello. What if ganito tayo mong podcast, yung tipong pinapatulog namin kayo? Or like, you know how when you do yoga class, their voices are always so soothing? Like, mm. Go to your downward dog. <laughs> If you're tired at any point in the class, feel free to take this position. <laughs> this position? Ano ba yung position na yun? I don't know. I haven't done yoga in so long. <laughs> My gosh. My body's craving for it. But anyway, guys. Yes. Today, we have a letter from the sky, finally. Mm-hmm. And the title of this letter is, Should I give up and walk away or fight? Should I give up? Oh, so I just keep chasing pavement. Sige, yun? sige pa. Even if it leads nowhere. Okay, sige lang. Oh, would it be... <laughs> Hindi ko na alam yung lyrics. Okay, okay, okay. Sige. <laughs> Sabi niya, Good morning, I have a family. I'm a father of two kids and we've been together since high school. We're not married, but things have been great since last year. Mm. Everything went south and my partner turned cold. Mm. But before all this happened, I did wrong things to my partner, not in terms of cheating, but hurting her feelings emotionally or being dismissive and insensitive. I have been trying to communicate with her, asking her for another shot to correct my mistakes, to make adjustments for myself and to make our relationship healthier. But all I see is hopelessness in her eyes. We don't have much since we got together, but we worked hard to give our kids what they need. And it's kind of hard when the person you started the journey with suddenly stops walking with you. I was too caught up in making money and work that I have forgotten the emotional needs of my partner. Mm. We're still living together, but things have not been the same. My partner asked for space to think things through. My family is more than a man could ever ask for, and I'm just trying to keep us all in one piece. What do you mm. think? So this is a guy. It's a guy. Wow. Yeah. Very rare you guys think so a letter. You know what? Speaking of guys asking for help, it is very rare. And I was so surprised because in Hong Kong, we got lost. Mm-hmm. And whenever it's just later and I traveling, he tries to figure it out by himself, like oh, maps by on or whatever, before he goes out and asks for help. It's usually the girl who approaches a stranger and yeah. asks, okay, where's the bakery or where's the tanyun, tanyun. hospital uh, or whatever. And then I was so surprised because we were walking with your parents mm. and we were looking for something and your dad just went up to a stranger like super fast lang, like, mm. oh, where's this place? Can you help us out? Blah, blah, blah. Nagulat talaga ako because yun nga, it's rare for guys to ask for help. Yeah. Yeah. Diba? It's so true. In a group of friends, parang you would rather figure it out for 30 minutes kesa lumapit ka na lang ng stranger at magtanong ng help. Diba? Uh, yes. Depende, depende. If I have access to technology and I prefer technology, then... Bakit? I don't know. It's just the awkward interaction, I think. Especially because I know it's not an English-speaking country. So parang, eh, even if it's English speaking, feeling ko, di pa rin eh. Ah, di ba? So, letters from the sky ba to or rose slay- slater? Parang <laughs> di, a- alas every episode na lang tayo. Di naman, it's just to. guys in general. <laughs> nagugulat nga tayo because when we read the letter, it was written by a guy. So, ibig sabihin, the guy is asking for help, which is not common. Mm. So, yeah. I think it must be a really big deal to him. Or maybe he's just an emotionally sensitive guy. Or kaya Possible niyang, din naman. Possible din. Like, willing to siya magiging vulnerable. Uh-oh. I think mas may pride talaga yung mga lalaki when it comes to asking for help. Mm-mm. Because, I, di ba parang, it's, a, it's society in general na parang, oh, you're the, you're the man of the house. Yeah. You're the, you're the breadwinner. Parang ganyan. And talaga. then when we're growing up, we always tell our kids, if especially if it's a guy, don't cry, don't cry. Uh, Crying is for girls. You know, ganon. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, your so opinion. Back to, so, back to the letter. I feel like this is something common. I mean, I put out a poll yesterday on Instagram stories asking people for what they wanted us to talk about. And mm. so many people responded that they want us to talk about emotionally unavailable partners in relationships and mm. stuff like that. So, especially with girls, I feel like this is something that they deal with a lot sa mga guys, mm-hmm. no? Guys are always, parang, even with my friends when they talk to me about their relationships, it's always, gailangan ng kape yung guys para gumising. Kasi, they, Bakit they always... Bakit kami palagi ang may kasalanan? No, it's just, I feel like guys have different priorities in life. Like, for example, when, and correct me if I'm wrong, okay? This is generally speaking lang, my observation. When guys are making legal to a girl or mm. you're, you're, you're asking a girl to be your girlfriend, all in effort kayo. Okay. Diba? Like, that's all you think about, winning the race, getting to the finish line. But when you're there na in the finish line, 
okay, I'm good. Relax na. I have Hindi her. Hindi naman. I Hindi mean, naman. I mean, not to that extent na not all guys are like this. But generally speaking, this is what I noticed with my friends. Na the effort that you put in, once no. nakuha mo na yung girl, is less. And then no. you prioritize other things na. No, uh, I, I disagree. Okay, I'm defending go. the guys out Okay, there. go, go, Your go. perspective comes from speaking to all girls. Yeah. So... You're getting the problems from the problems that girls have with guys. Yeah, which is all. So if you were a to common talk fa- to, factor. if you were to talk to guys, uh-oh. iba na nam, iba naman yung problema. Oh, sige, ano? Because you're not talking to guys, you're only getting the, the perspective of girls having problems with guys. Ano nga yung pambato mo? And and dami, and dami din. Pero uh, for example, like yun. The, the same thing happens to guys. May parang, oy, hindi ko na alam kung anong nangyari. Like for me, I've, I've had relationships, I've had like, nililigawan ko, tapos, ha, huh, bigla na lang cold, na parang, hmm, I, I don't get it, I don't understand. Okay. So, may mga ganyan naman din. But, it's because, yung, yung, kung, kung nag-survey ka pa, is, isa lang yung crowd na hinahanapan mo ng tano, sagot. Okay, so it's both ways pala. Some girls can be emotionally unavailable also. Of course. Ah, of course. okay. But I don't hear that. Well, maybe because guys nga don't ask for help. So our yes, guy friends don't, don't tell me. Yes. Exactly. Oh. No, I had a barkada before na puro guys. But they don't tell me when a girl's being emotionally unavailable. I think it's a pride oh, thing. Oh, kasi pag, pag, pag guys. sinabi ng guys, parang it's basically saying that the girl is not interested. Eh, sakit sa pride namin pag sinabi. Ga, na, a pride nga hindi interested yung lalaki. Pride ah, yung girl. Kasi the girl's always asking for help. Like, I don't know why he's like this. He's... Not ano anymore, making an effort anymore. He's always prioritizing, let's say, his games or whatever, whatever it may be. Oh, oh, oh. so si ga, mga guys kasi, ewan ko sa kanya, hindi na sumasagot eh. Hanggang uh, dyan lang, very, inuman lang tayo. Kasi ma pride, ayaw niya mag-open up, ayaw niya maging vulnerable. Hindi rin kami madetalye. Mm-hmm. It's always like, oh, so, ano nangyari kagabi? Ah, nag-kiss kami. Yun na yun. Yung yeah. girls is, alam mo, yung he simula ng date namin. Oh, no, ganyan. Yeah, leading up to the moment. <laughs> Siyempre, to us girls, it's also mental. You have to take us there first. Hindi naman diretso. Shoot lang. Oh, yung guys is, I think, ganito. If, if parang sa basketball pa yun, sino nanalo? Sa inyo is the journey of like, uh-huh. okay, ito yun. The tip off. The ano. Oh, so back to our letter sender nga. Yes. Parang feeling ko, the letter sender... He was so focused on his end destination, which is making money, providing for his family, which is all good, di ba? Kasi inisip mo pa rin yung family mo. Yes. But nakalimutan mo yung journey nga, which is every day, the small things, like waking up, saying hello to your wife, kissing her, yeah. making her feel yeah. good, spending time with your kids, all of these things, na sometimes feeling natin solved na. You know what oh, I mean? That's like, what I appreciate about you though. Na parang, ako, I get sometimes to nasishat ako sa oh. mga mga kalokohan ko. Kalokohan meaning like mga hobbies or paminsan, uh, mostly work, na parang, na, na, I think it's a guy thing, na nag-rush kami to achieve a certain goal. Yes. And nawawala yung day-to-day. Nawawala yung maliliit na moment. Oh, kasi, okay, you're striving hard to make money for the family or to accomplish a certain goal that you've had in your mind. Mm. But kung nakaganon ka, what are you working so hard for anyway? Isn't it for your family? Or to be able to enjoy these things with your family? Yes. If tumatakbo ka lang dun, nakalimutan mo yung reason for everything, di ba? Uh, and these are things that you can't get back. Uh, like, work can always be there, but your family is gonna grow up, the kids are gonna grow up, you're never gonna get this two plus whatever years old, nine months old baby. I Itong think time na to, di ba? three types of people in our lives, uh, in, in the world. Like, parang, there's people that are very vision oriented. They live in the future, very much me. And there's people that very much live in the present. Pero meron din mga tao na na iiwan palagi sa past. Yes, no? that's accurate. Like um, the past people, the the ones that live in the past tend to be more sad, more like nagre reminisce. Alam mo dati ganito. Alam mo ganyan, ganyan. Oh, this was the highlight uh, of my life. Di ba uh, we had friends who were talking about that recently? Uh, na? Oh, I I totally peaked when I was. In high school, those are the best years of my life. Yes, man. And I felt like, I mean, okay, if you feel that way, that's sayo din yon. Pero yes. for me lang, hindi ko masabi yon. Kasi malay ko ba, baka next year ako mag-peak. Uh, and every day that I'm experiencing for, new, uh, things, new things, happy naman ako. I'm happy also in high school. I'm happy in college. I'm happy now. You tend to be a very present 
person. Oh, oh. Ako, I tend to be, that's why I'm always in, the, in a rush to, because I'm living like few steps ahead. Mm-hmm. Like parang, palagi ko iniisip, ah, anong gagawin ko dito? Or like, ano kaya mangyayari if si Sevi and si Scott pag malaki na sila or pag ano pag yes. pupunta na tayo kaya na nilang pumunta sa abroad sabay-sabay yeah you're always thinking of yeah. like when Sevi's older I'll do this with him when Scott is older I'll do this with him yes but then I'm always like watch them now like now <laughs> play with them now <laughs> not yeah. later <laughs> yeah. so yeah so some people are just built like that if you guys want to hear the full episode you can check us out on Spotify 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 Spotify, Spotify.